This week on The Gun Room, we're looking at the AP-5, an MP5 clone imported from Turkey by Century Arms. Now, at this point, you're probably thinking, I've heard this song before. This is the Zenith gun that's been on the market for about five, six, seven years, and you'd be entirely correct. However, Zenith had a falling out with MKE who makes this gun in Turkey, and now Century Arms is importing it. Let's take a look at it and see what features it has. Those of you who are familiar with original German guns will rejoice at this because it has some of the original German features. For example, it has the magazine release which is in an inaccessible location for 90% of the population. It has the German fix, the paddle release, which was introduced to fix it. It has the selector switch, which is inaccessible by, again, 90% of the population. Thank you, Germany. Um, and thank you, Magpul, for coming along and giving us an additional longer selector lever. The, one of the other German features it has, of course, is the diopter rear sight. Great piece of kit. However, HK thinks you're a complete moron and it requires a specialist armor tool in order to adjust it for elevation. It also has the traditional HK tri-lug barrel for a suppressor, but MKE has threaded it half 28 for the American market, so you can screw on pretty much any can. The final feature that it has that is familiar to all German aficionados is, of course, the HK slab. All right, those are the external features. Let's delve a little deeper and break it down. Unlike most US MP5 clones, this one has the traditional two pushpin lower receiver. Now, because this is imported as a pistol in order to comply with 922R regulations, it also ships with this cap here, which is really tough to get off. I'm gonna have to probably beat this off with a magazine. Hang on one moment. And we're back. There we go. All right, end cap is off. And as you can see, it still has the denial shelf, so you can't install a full auto lower receiver or full auto pack. It has double X marked hammer. And if you look at the bolt carrier group, as you can see, this is very much a semi-auto bolt carrier group. There's no pad on there to actuate the auto sear. So converting this into a full auto gun, if you have a full auto trigger pack, you are gonna to have to swap out the bolt carrier. Other than that, it's a really close approximation of the original HK MP5, and overall quality is very good. If you look at the welds at the back of the trunnion there, they're visible, the trunnion weld is visible, and the cocking tube weld is cleanly executed. This is a really good platform for building into the gun that everybody wants. So, using the power of the SOT, I'm now going to assemble this, put a whole lot of different parts on it, and then go take it to the range. Boo! And boop! Okay, that looks way sexier, doesn't it? But before we go any further, let me just say that unless you are a Type 7 FFL with an O2 SOT, do not attempt this at home. If you don't understand what those words mean, then definitely don't do this at home because you could end up with 10 years in federal pound in the ass prison. Not a good outcome. Now, the secret sauce behind this whole conversion is this registered post sample trigger pack, which turns it into a happy fun switch. What else have we added to it? Well, from the front end, we have, we have a Liberty Suppressor's Mystic X, which is a 9mm can rated up to 300 Win Mag, which is pretty damn versatile. We have a BNT quad rail. We have a BNT Picatinny rail added so we can add the Trigicon MRO. And we have a whole lot of BNT on this gun, We're finishing up with a buttstock. In addition to that, we've added a Surefire Mini Scout Light. We're also going to be rocking an AC Unity Big Stick. So this is a 40 round polymer magazine with a window on the side like a PMAG. These are made in Bosnia and we did a video on that company about three years ago. Go check them out. All right, here we go. Let's rock and roll. Now, there's no doubt that MP5 prices at the moment are insane. Hopefully though, with Century bringing in the MKE version of this gun, over the next few years, the prices will drop to more sane levels. 
But if you do have an MP5 itch to scratch at the moment, then the aftermarket's there, the base platform's there. So check out the rest of the stuff that's on this gun. Maybe you can make one your own.